My name is Folu Ogunke, and some people know me as Folu Storms. I'm a traveler, presenter, lover of music, adventure, and all things African. So I found a way to combine all these things. Join me as I discover the new Africa. This time, we're heading to Maputo in Mozambique. On this journey, the crew and I are headed to the city of Maputo in Mozambique. From Lagos, where we fly, there are no direct flights to Maputo, so you'll have to transit. Now you can do that either through South Africa, which will require a transit visa, or you can stop overnight in Addis Ababa, as the visa is included with your ticket. I'll be honest and tell you now though that traveling from West Africa tickets start at about 800 USD upwards which is a fairly expensive price tag but once you arrive it's totally worth it. As we made our way through the airport in Maputo, I kept thinking about what we would find on the other side. Visiting Maputo and Mozambique is particularly important to me, as the first dreams I had of travel were based on wanting to find the most beautiful places in Africa, and the cities in Mozambique, at least on the internet, seem to fit that criteria. Okay, so getting out of the airport took a bit of time, but our taxi driver Mavic, that's his AKA, has found us with no real problem. And pretty soon, we're all packed into the car and we begin to chat about what Maputo has to offer and Africans having their time now. So as we take off, I can practically smell the beach air and feel the festive vibe. But first, a quick stopover at the hotel to change. Now the Palana Serena Hotel is where we'll be staying during our time in Mozambique. And guys, it is beautiful. You won't believe it. It has this old world charm with amazing modern highlights and is also considered by many to be one of Africa's finest hotels. So after fooling around in my beautiful room, it's time to change and head out. Um, I'm heading out day one in Maputo, I'm really excited. Uh, first thing we're going to do is get some cards because uh, we can't really communicate. Currently it's called Met. A little information for you is that the Mozambican currency is called Metacals and the conversion is approximately 30 Met to 1 US dollar or 1 Met to 5 Naira. So it's not so bad, is it? Driving through town, one of the first things that you'll notice is how blue the sky is. I mean seriously, it looks like it's photoshopped. Now that my phone is sorted, it's time to make first contact. I'm heading out right now to go meet uh, Elena, Elena Jacobs. She is the editor for a magazine called Club of Mozambique. Now, a really cool thing, I discovered them when I was doing research online, and this is an online magazine as well as hard copy, and it tells you every single thing there is to do in Maputo and also other parts of Mozambique, so it's pretty cool. Now, Living in Maputo is a newsletter in English that highlights tourist attractions in and around the city of Maputo. 
It's a part of the online destination called Club of Mozambique. I find that when you're traveling to a new destination, it's important to do some research, and I figured that Elena would be the best person to educate me on what to expect from the city. Living in Maputo is, a, is an online magazine um, that is for people who, who live in Maputo or people coming to visit in English uh, about what's happening, what's going on. Uh, it's a weekly magazine, so we try to highlight some of the music, some of the theatre, some restaurants, you know, things going on. So how did you end up in Maputo? By accident, basically. <laughs> Many of my 10 years, I was travelling in different countries in Africa, uh, landed here, needed a job, and stuck around. <laughs> okay, so what, what are some of the cool things to do in Maputo? Um, well, it depends what you're, what you're into. Nightlife is quite good in Maputo. There's always live music happening somewhere. I think that's one of the big things. Um, other thing I want to know is, is, is it expensive? I mean, I wouldn't even know what to compare it to, but um, is Maputo an expensive city to visit? I don't think it's overly expensive yet, especially if you're coming uh, from relatively stable countries with a stable currency, then it's, it's doable. Mm. But it's not, it's not very cheap. Okay. I think prices are comparable to European prices at this moment. It's a, probably a bit more expensive than South Africa. Mm. Yeah. Um, so cheap, no, but doable, yeah. I'm just excited to explore things and just see what's going on. Okay. Karaoke, I think, must be a must. We'll yes. Check out karaoke. Definitely. But thank you very much for taking out some time. To okay, speak no to problem. Us. I hope you have a great time. Yeah. I'm always in After meeting Alina, I was up for a little more exploring, but I just wanted to keep it simple. The Palana Serena Hotel, luckily for me, is located just 15 minutes from the international airport and only five minutes from the city center, which means it's within easy distance of a number of tourist attractions. So I'm walking to uh, the Crafts Market, which is less than two minutes walk from the Palana Serena Hotel, which is absolutely amazing. So if you're a guest, it means that you can very easily stay comfortably at a really nice hotel right by the beach and still have access really good shopping. Apparently these guys used to sell on the roadside, same, very similar to Nigeria, but the government sort of put them in this little marketplace, which is so beneficial. And in less than a few months, they more than tripled their income. Ah, I think we're here. It's a nice arts and crafts market with lots of friendly and helpful vendors. This is beautiful. It's like a little market slash garden slash chill spot. Somebody told me apparently there are two restaurants in here as well, which are pretty good. So, I mean, for a first day out and looking for things to do, I think it's quite a good idea. Stop by the market. Plus, they make the best souvenirs, honestly, because they tell a fantastic story of your time away from home. This is awful. This one. I cannot be back. How Let much is it? Let me look first. Look at that. You have smaller pipes? Pretty. Guy. And finally, after a hard day of shopping, you can grab a cold drink from one of the restaurants in the park and simply relax. But here's something that is really, really cool about this particular market is that they have lovely restaurants just chilling. It's like sitting in a garden and still being able to shop at the same time. So cheers. After flexing my bargaining skills and having a nice beer to celebrate, I'm headed off to my next tourist spot, the statue of Samora Michelle. He was Mozambique's first president from 1975 to 1986, and his actions and ideology defined a newly freed nation, helping to guide his people through an uncertain future. 
He was a revered president and a thoughtful leader who left a decisive legacy behind him. Finally, night has fallen, but the day is not yet finished though. The crew and I have been invited to dinner with the lovely twin sisters, Nelly and Nelsa, collectively known as Mimate. After a lovely dinner full of laughter and stories, the girls and I settled down to talk a bit more about their work, Africa, and perceptions of Africans. Uh, my name is Nelsa and I'm Mozambican. I'm 26 years old and this is my twin sister. Yes, uh, I'm Nelly, uh, same age. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we are fashion designers and uh, we live in Maputo, which is the capital city of Mozambique and uh, that's where we do our dresses, that's where we get our material from. These ladies collectively are known as Mimate. I found out that you guys are involved in recycled clothing, used clothing, and not just buying the pieces and reselling them as they are, but also customizing them and styling them so that people can sustainably use and wear clothing. Like, where did that come from? Where did this idea come from to do that? When you grew up in Mozambique, Second-hand clothing is what uh, most of Mozambicans are able to afford and we were not an exception from that. Yeah. Uh, looking at the story, at the story of those dresses we got, where you have a designer in America or a designer in Germany or in Europe who sends a, a piece or a design piece to Bangladesh and China and these are the places where those clothes are produced in a very hard condition and then later it is sent back to Europe. People wear it and uh, then they don't like it anymore. So they sell it as a low value. They don't like it. That's why oh, we send it to Africa. Those guys need it. And we get it and we then give it a added value. So we are then even sending it back to Europe, which we find it interesting for its story. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> that is the deepest, that is the deepest story of clothing. Yeah. I have, but it, it's so and, true. Yeah, and the is. chance of coming back is very high. But uh, but on the other hand, I think the new Africa, <laughs> talking about <laughs> the new Africa, it's, uh, it's, I wonder if it's really the new Africa, because mm. what, what I think is happening is that we are just telling the story of Africa. This story has always been there. The problem is that it was not told. Yeah. Just untold story. And then now it's a new Africa because now is the opportunity that people have to, to, to hear our stories. Our stories have been there. They were just wrongly told. And, and it's quite a shame that the world accepted the bad stories and never really tried to understand that this place was another story. I think the world should be ashamed of itself. But uh, it is, and it is important to bring uh, this potential or this uh, positive uh, stories happening in Africa because they are happening. And just that the people do not have access to the information maybe, but uh, Africa is moving. <laughs> <laughs> Following our serious heart to heart, the girls let me play dress up for a while, which was awesome. Their pieces are beautiful. And then it was time to head home, exhausted after a fantastic day. The next day dawns bright and beautiful. I then have a chat with the manager of our new home who educates us a little on Maputo and gives us an insight into this hotel and its key part in Maputo's history. Uh, my name is Miguel Afonso dos Santos. Uh, I'm the general manager of Polana Serena Hotel and we are at Maputo. Uh, Mozambique is a big country and with a lot of things to see. It has a beautiful coast, uh, very, very nice, beautiful islands. Um, but what is most amazing about Mozambique is the people and the smile of the people. And um, you can find in Mozambique really authentic things. Uh, so uh, from food to people to landscape to uh, even wildlife uh, and 
you can spend a great time in Mozambique. Polana is a landmark. Polana is a part of the history and belongs to many people. Polana is right in the middle of the city. Uh, so from the Polana you can walk uh, to restaurants and bars in Julius Nerer or you can just get a taxi and be in, in five, ten minutes to downtown or to any other place in the city. So the, the location of Polana Street Hotel is very, uh, very good because you have this, the, the sea in front and you can also have the city uh, and the heart of the city nearby. Um, and you can, uh, from walking, just walking, you can go to the art um, fair that you, you can go and buy some craft uh, to enjoy the great gastronomic food uh, in Julius Nere. Oh, so excited. I'm gonna get lunch while I wait for Taibo. Taibo Bakar is a phenomenal young African designer who has put both Mozambique and Africa on the map. So I wanted to talk to him about the challenges that we face as a continent and how he feels young achievers like himself can help. Hello. How are you? Welcome Good to Mozambique. To Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, yeah. You know. So I'll tell you basically, I decided to hunt you down because you are a young person in Africa that I think is doing amazing work. Oh, thank you. For a lot of African countries, Nigeria included, all people know about is like the negative history and yeah. that there was fighting and yeah. unrest. But I want to know like from you and someone who is living in Mozambique now, living in Maputo and working out of here, what, what is it like? You know, it's not easy to talk about these things in Africa and especially about Mozambique because for me, uh, when you talk about development in Mozambique, you talk about many things but you don't talk about fashion and I'm working in fashion industry. So it's not easy for me to say, okay, everything is okay. But if you talk about uh, to work and and to make things and good things to, to, to help the, the continent to grow. I can say yes, Mozambique is a nice place because we are in peace, you know, and the people here are very, 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 uh, how can I say, the people here are very, very kind, kind people. If you ask me like, Taibo, you like like a fashion designer, for example. I don't like, for example, to be in the magazines, how, how, how I told you, like in the interviews and things like this. Mm. I like to wake up and go to the studio and work and work. Let's make money because I pay tax and with these taxes we can help to grow and to, to make the, the, the counter grow and to, to building like new hospitals, new schools. And I'm working in the new projects, you know, social projects like help, helping children, uh, pay for two children to go to the school and things like this. I don't think only about me. It's not about me. It's about us. You know, it's about our babies, the babies from tomorrow, exactly. the children from tomorrow. Let's help them. Let's 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 spend money in education. You know, I don't care about. I'm always talking about this, and I say I don't care about flowers and I don't care about fruits. For me, if you want good flowers, beautiful flowers, and you want good fruits, you have to work with it in the plant. Mm. That's the most important. Mm -hmm. So for me, the most important is to wake up and work. If you give me price, okay, it's fine because I'm working. Yeah. But I want to work because I want to make my family. When I'm talking about family, I'm talking about the family table, Bakar. I want to make them happy. Thanks so much, table. Chat over. I get changed and head out to explore once more. But this time, I thought I should use some tours. Dana tours to be precise. Tours, as cheesy as they sometimes sound, are a good way to get better acquainted with any city you want to visit. They end up showing you things that locals tend to forget because they're designed for tourists, duh. The dominant language, it is Portuguese, and we speak English, we start learning English at standard eight, French at standard nine. In total, we speak 23 languages. We have four official languages. Uh, it's Shangan. The Shangans are kind of cousins to the Zulus. It is the same custom. And we have the Rongas, and as well the Makondis. Makondis are the ones with tattoos on the face. 
and the Makuas. The Makuas are more Arab. They wear a clay on the face like all. For me, I can use it as a beauty mask. For them, it is a um, custom. It's called Musiru. They wear all the face and on the day of the, the husband is the only one that sees the face. They wear from bottom to top. Those were the customs that we used to do back on the colonial time. Nowadays, because we're changing, not all of us do it, but the younger generation is trying to discover the roots. This is the fortress that's from 1785. As I said before, that the original one was built by the Dutch. The doors are iron wood. We use this fort now for exhibitions and uh, gallery events. And as well, if you have money, you can afford just rent it out the place, do a party or a wedding and so on. It's now been maintained by the University Eduard Mognan, the first university of Mozambique. Thanatos was incredibly interesting because it showed me so many places and things, including the train station, which still has trains passing through, and a bar which is popping on a Friday. It's amazing what you'll find out when you decide to explore. After the tour, I got dropped off at the fish market to enjoy some local delicacies. Here you can find all types of seafood. Crayfish, lobster, crabs, mussels, snails, and some things that I, I wasn't really sure what they were, to be honest. But if you're about fresh seafood, this is exactly the place to go. I would recommend anyone to stop by the fish market for a little introduction to seafood. And when the food was all cooked, oh my goodness, what a feast! My time in Maputo is almost done, so before I leave, I'm heading out to the islands. In case you didn't know, Mozambique is pretty famous for some of its islands. But for time reasons, I'm gonna go to the closest one to Maputo, which is Inyaka Island. On the way to Inyaka Island, you'll see all sorts of things. From fishermen, to beautiful water, to amazing sky, it is great. It's just about 45 minutes by speedboat and over an hour away if you're using a water taxi, which is what I do. Once you arrive at the island, it is even more fantastic. There are several people waiting for you as you dock, including staff of the Pestana Hotel, which is the main hotel on the island. They have the nicest rooms that look like little beach chalets, and so as soon as I got in, I quickly dropped off my stuff, and as usual, you know me, I had to go check out the island. Amazing! So we've just arrived at Inyaka Island in Mozambique. Uh, it's about an hour 45 minutes outside of Maputo. Beautiful ferry ride. The water is as blue as can be, man. Like, I'm so excited. So, um, but I, I seem to have lost my flip flops somewhere. So I'm walking to the village, see if I can get them more. Let me tell you all, we're ready to draw, no race, no gunner. 
but try to call me victorious man. Of yesterday, yes, we don't see them no more. Judge our ship in my life, and you know, say everything they come is so strong. With no apology, the king was meant for me. With days of victory, look on you will see me. So I let you to quit. But my crime may stand the right, yeah. So you made up my mind by the grace of God. Feel them with love, but we never give up. As I journey from city to city on this great continent, I am consistently amazed and inspired. Maputo has shown me the incredible intelligence of his people and the stunning beauty of its surroundings. I may not know where I'm headed to next, but I do know that wherever I go, just like Maputo, it will be the new Africa. I want me say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Over here, yeah, yeah, yeah. there'll be blow some arms. Come on, whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The victory song. I'm a song I see you. Come on, Shabala Batunga. Bank, pay my money. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's your boy DJ Case. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to Danny Chief channel where you can watch more videos. Subscribe, just hit that button right there. More videos, enjoy. Everyone is happy. Thank you.